Hi, I'm Duncan from Passionate About Fish and today we're going to work on a wild Cornish sea bass. This fish was actually bought from the Chelsea Fishmongers so thanks a lot Rex and Duncan. Amazing quality fish. First thing we need to do before we actually fillet the fish is to remove the scales and to do this I'm going to use a scaler. If you're at home you can use a spoon or a butter knife, just make sure it's a blunt piece of equipment. Hold the fish by the head and just slowly start at the tail and just work up the back of the fish just removing the scales. It's not a hard job to do, it's just quite messy. One way to retain the scales in one place is to actually place the fish in a carrier bag and scale it inside the carrier bag or you can actually put it in a sink of water and scale it while it's in the water and all the scales will stay in the sink. You can see that I've worked from the tail to the head very carefully doing nice accurate pulls and I'm not applying too much pressure down onto the fish because I don't want to bruise or damage that beautiful flesh that's left on the fillets. And there's the fish scaled, make sure you do the tummy and then I just need to tidy the scale ups and we'll show you how to fill it. So we've cleaned up the scales and now we're ready to fillet the fish. Understanding this is a wild sea bass and he eats mussels and sand eels and things like that, I'm actually going to show you how to remove the gut and the head at the same time. I'm going to insert the knife into the hole near the tail, move forward to the head, open the gut of the fish up and then I'm going to cut round the back of the head and I'm going to remove the head before I fillet the fish. Being careful that I don't press on the gut and actually break any of the membranes that form part of the gut. I'm now cutting through the spine and as you can see by pulling the head all of the gut lifts away from the fish in one movement. I'm just going to dispose of the head, quickly tidy up. Don't forget this is a wild sea bass, it's a beautiful fish but it's fresh and it's not gutted so we just have to be careful and tidy up as we go. Trying to make sure that we don't stain any of that beautiful delicate flesh with any blood. We're now going to show you how to fillet the fish. To do this we're going to hold the, put the fish in front of us with where the head was to the right and the tail to the left. And that's because I'm right handed. The belly of the fish is away from me. I'm going to put my hand on top of the fish. Lie the knife on top of where the dorsal fin is and just draw it backwards and forwards along the skin until the knife drops in through the skin. Because we're above the spine it drops down onto the spine and I'm only going to cut into the fish down to the lateral line down the whole length of the fish. A very little downward pressure just making sure that the knife runs along the bone all the way to the tip of the tail. And you can see we've got a very good yield, we're very tight on the bone. I'm then going to turn my knife around and work to the front of the fish just to release the very front part of the fillet. I'm then going to insert my knife over the top of the spine, through into the gut cavity and then I'm just going to draw my knife in one movement down the length of the tail and lift the tail up off the bone. We then need to work up the rib cage. It's a very aggressive bone, very strong. We've worked up the rib cage to the pin bones and we just use the tip of the knife just to flick through the pin bones and then we use the knife to go down the rib cage and we, I'm lifting the fillet at the same time as moving my knife along the rib cage and there's the first beautiful fillet. Just tidy up as you work making sure that we don't get any blood stains on the flesh. We're then going to turn the sea bass over and we're going to fillet the second side. Remembering this is a wild fish just keeping tidy as we go. I'm then going to insert my knife on top of the dorsal fin at the tail end. So I draw my knife in, the dorsal fin goes underneath the blade and I just gently cut through the skin pulling the knife towards the head end of the fish. I'm only cutting about half a centimetre into the fish just to make sure I get down onto the spine. I then make a deeper cut right in until I feel the rib cage. I'm then going to take my knife just in front of the fin, push it right through into the gut cavity and then in one stroke with a slight clockwise turn on the blade run down the length of the bone to the tail. We then need to work up the rib cage in one, two cuts with the tip of the blade. 
We then need to release the pin bones, just an aggressive tug with a knife and the fillet opens and then we can work down the rib cage with the blade lifting the fillet at all time and we produce two beautiful fillets. We're now going to show you how to remove the bones out of the fillets and produce two boneless fillets. There's the first fillet. The first thing I'm going to do is trim that silver flesh off the top of the fillet just to expose the beautiful white translucent flesh. Just shave away the silver skin right to the edge and then just refresh the edge of the fillet. I'm also going to trim the front to freshen up the fillet. And there's the fillet ready to be boned. The first one I'm going to show you is to actually pull the bones out with tweezers or pliers. There's six or seven bones run down the lateral line of the fillet there. You just take your tweezers or your pin bone pliers and you take hold of a bone and you give it a tug and it will come out of the fillet. This gives an appearance of a total whole fillet that is bone free. Just feel for the bones and tug them out the inside of the fillet. There's the last one there. Just feel thin, I've actually left one in. That's now a boneless fillet that looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you how we can bone the fillet in another way, which is slightly simpler, but it doesn't give you as good a finish or as good a yield. First thing I'm going to do, as with the first side, is trim this part of the fish very carefully, taking off as little flesh as possible, just removing that silver skin, just to refresh the fillet all the way down the length and then just trim along the front of the fillet to refresh it. There's no stains on the flesh here so there's no need to trim the front up. Now I'm going to show you that we can actually remove the bones out the inside of the fillet with a knife. Again the bones run down the lateral line. I insert my knife on the thick side of the fillet on that side of the bone and pull it forward and then I insert my knife in the other side of the bone line and I pull my knife forward and I've only cut down to the skin. I then take my fingers and I pinch that little bit of flesh and I can pull all the bones out the inside of the fillet with that little bit of flesh and again we've got a lovely boneless fillet. And there we have a wild Cornish sea bass filleted and boned ready to be cooked in the oven.